FSE TV, episode three, day three, an action-packed day three. Wasn't it, Roland? It was an amazingly action-packed day, and we're gonna take a look at all those action, but first, we're gonna take a look at all the partners who are supporting this event. Thank you to all of our amazing partners for bringing their fantastic activities, beautiful vehicles, awesome judges, and fantastic spirit to the Hunger Ring for FSE's 2023. Thank you. But Formula Student Movement and Formula Student East is also connected to the outside world. It is very important for us to involve as many stakeholders as we can. And we had a very, very prominent visitor with us today. So let's take a look at that. Why is this event so important? Young people are the future of the whole planet. And so many great talents that they are here on, on one place, one spot. It's a great opportunity for them to learn from each other, to build new friendship. Nowadays, we are living in a world when you have to tell stories. And if you are able to tell the story of the Formula student, the outside world can understand that young engineers are working on the future, not only of the motorsport, but the automotive industry. I'm really proud and happy to be here. And the reason why I'm here is, of course, my son. He's a member of Slovenia team of the University of Ljubljana. And this is the reason why I'm proud to be here. It's a great event. I met a lot of teams. I highly recommend to all the petrol heads or people who are interested in the automotive industry or in car racing that at least once in your lifetime experience this kind of buzz and atmosphere because this Formula student is just fantastic. Hearing our esteemed guests speak so enthusiastically about our movement was a fantastic feeling to me and to all of us. Thank you very much for visiting and we hope to have you again next year. But what we have this year and what we have every year, it is acceleration and skid pads. So let's hit the dynamic time of FS East 
my favorite part of Formula Student competitions is always the dynamics. Your performance on the track was truly amazing. Congrats. Wish you best of luck for tomorrow. I, I thought this is your favorite part of Eversyth. Oh, damn. Uh, I just misspoke. Well, anyway, my favorite part is technical adventures with Janos, and the, he's going to take us to Spain this time. Let's check it out. I get a feeling it's going to be a riot. In today's technical adventures, the main ingredient is combustion with a little bit of electricity and sprinkled over with some driverless. And this tapas is served to us by FSU PV from Valencia. Hi, Jose. Hi. What made you decide to develop a combustion driverless car? Well, our team has always uh, been pursuing new challenges. And when Formula 2 in Germany threw the challenge of the driverless and then pandemic started at uh, 2020, we were like, Whoa, well, we can start this project, we have uh, an old car to test it, and then uh, the new uh, rule set of Germany came with a little bit of an advantage maybe uh, with other rivals that do not have this development. So that convinced us to make uh, our Monaco from 2022 and 2023 uh, with the driverless capability to be able to compete uh, both uh, Germany and another driverless competition. That's super awesome. What are the biggest difficulties when you're developing and integrating a driverless system into a combustion car? Uh, at the end, uh, as the perception and estimation parts are the same as an electric, uh, the control part is uh, more uh, tough to integrate. We have to control a combustion engine that is really unpredictable, it can be non-linear and you have to calibrate uh, really well the engine to have an smooth, uh, an smooth response. And also uh, we have the brakes. Uh, the brakes and electric uh, driverless are usually actuated uh, only with electric motors. We, ha we have to manage to do like an actuator concept that could activate the hydraulic brakes, not only like with an on-off switch, but also with capability of having gradual uh, braking or more and less power, depending on our needs, yeah. Awesome. You didn't stop there with the complexity, because a little birdie has told me that you are working on a hybrid system. What's your concept for that? Yeah, uh, when you threw uh, the new hybrid rule set to the world, uh, we were thinking also about uh, what to do next year, how to, if becoming electric, becoming hybrid, continuing with driverless, all the stuff, we have a lot of, and we have not decided at all, but we have a lot of paths open. And one of them, and one of the most attractive, was to be able with a new monocoque uh, develop a hybrid car, because this, this one is uh, adapted and prepared for including a battery and e-motors. Uh, so we can test them at the beginning of the year, and maybe uh, next year you can see a FSU PBE uh, hybrid concept here at Formula Student East. I would love to see that. Good luck with the development and good luck on the track this year. Many thanks. That was truly some tasty technical tapas from Janos. But we have a little tasty dessert for the end of this episode. What is that? It's more like a huge cake because it was the autocross, the biggest dynamic event of today. I've seen some cars really, really close by, but thanks to the magic of our cameras, you can see them right now. This is our time. They gon' feel us shine. There's a dawn breaks, the world wings, and catch you in mind. Nothing can touch where we've been tonight. There's a sun rose across you, standing in a half light. We gon' hold what we felt tonight. Thanks to our live stream, you can rewatch the entirety of Autocross as well as Acceleration and Skatepad. And what else can you watch on our live stream, Roland? Well, you can watch Endurance, which is going to be hopefully very exciting uh, tomorrow, but also there's going to be Endurance on Sunday, and we're going to also be able to live stream and show you the driverless truck drives.
exactly. Some amazing technical stuff is coming on our YouTube channel. Make sure to follow, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word about FSE's 2023. So this was us today. Let's hope there will be no rain tomorrow. Uh, some prayers are very welcome. Then we will say a big thank you for that. And otherwise, see you on Saturday.